Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Tiger main avatar or any of the NPC avatar in, in Unreal Engine. Yesterday I already gave you a demo on how to create any of, of a lion avatar as a main avatar and also the NPC. And today we are going to create a lion. So same as yesterday, we need the icons. Here you have the icon software. In the icon software, where you are going to find is the avatar. Here, the icon seven under your avatar. It is the Animal World Volume 5. You have a fierce tiger. You drag it out at the center of, of your icon. And then you need to have the Unreal Life Link plugin. And next, you are going to click Untick everything first. And then only take the tiger and transfer the file transfer the file to Unreal Engine 4.26. In your Unreal Engine 4.26, you should have the icon Unreal Life Link plugged in as well. And you need to wait until it finished transfer. Then it will appear right here. Now you can see it already it, it already finished transfer. And you can see that this is a skeleton mesh of the tiger. But what we want to use is not this one. Next, we are going to export the, the animations from the icon first. Okay, this one, temporarily you close it. And then in your icon, make sure you already selected the tiger and click edit in 3D Exchange. And after a while, it will be transferred into 3D Exchange 7. At the right hand side here, you have to drag it down. Here. Under the motion library, you have to import the tiger's animation. So what you need to do is go back to your icon here. Go to the contents. Go to the motion. It is under the motions. You should be able to see that the, the Animal World Volume 5. You have a tiger's folder. Double click in. You right click here. Find the file. It will automatically open by using the file explorer. You right click view and view with extra large icons. You can see all of these are the tiger's icon motion file. You right click view as the detail first. Next, we are going to import all of this into your 3D exchange here. So just have a look. It is under your file explorer. Wait, not this. Where is it just now? Here. Right click, find the file. Here. In your 3D exchange, you need to open the file explorer as well. All of this you select all, drag into the motion library here. Next, you click add all to perform. And finally, on your desktop here, you create a new folder. Create a new folder on your desktop. You name it as Tiger01. Tiger01, you double click in, open the folder. This is an empty folder here. In your 3D Exchange 7, what you are going to do is you click export as FBX file. Then so the target tool presets, you cho choose the game engine Unreal. Next, first you untick include animations. Then you only want to include the geometry. You copy the destination location. Control C to copy here. Next, here Control V to paste. Now, the file name you name it as Tiger. Sorry, Tiger zero one. After that, you click OK. OK. Now it already exported as FBX file here. Next, you want to export again all the animation. The file name, same, you have to put Tiger01. For this time, you choose the Unreal Engine. And then you, you don't want to include the geometry, you untick here. You only want to include the animations. The destination location is still the same, you click OK. Click OK. OK. Now you can see, the first one is the, is the skeleton mesh, and the rest are the animations. Now it's your time to import into your Unreal Engine. In your Unreal Engine here, 
Just now you already transfer a skeleton mesh, we don't want to use that. We transfer it by using the icon on real life link just because of you want to get the material. The material that you are going to apply. It. And the animations from 3D Exchange here is not suitable for the original skeleton mesh from the Unreal Engine. So to make our life easier, we import again, go to the content, and here you create a folder. So create a new folder here. Name it as Tiger01. Double click in the Tiger01. This is an empty folder. Next. You can see it is at Tiger01. You back to your folder here. First, you import the Tiger01 FBX file from your desktop. You drag in, drag and drop. Here, to import the FBX file, you click Import All first. And wait for a while, it is importing. Once it finished import already, it will show you a message log. It means it already finished finish imported. And here you need to wait for a while until it finished compiling all the shader. And then you should be able to see all the texture. Alright, after a few seconds, you should be able to see all the texture. You can double click in. Double click in, you can see all the texture are that you all the texture that you import from FBX file have a little bit of problem. That's why just now I asked you to transfer just by using the Unreal Live link. And you can just find it from here, the texture. The tiger defaults, you want to find the tiger default in the, the instance, this one, tiger default TRA, the trial material instance. This is from icon and real life link, the first round of transfer. So once you choose that, so all the texture are completed already. It's your time to, to import all the animation. To import all the animations, I want you to right click and create a new folder inside the Tiger 01's folder and name it as animations. Okay, in this way, you double click in the animation folder, you make it systematic, you import all the ti all the tigers, tigers related animations, all the FBX bar you drag and drop into that folder. The skeleton, you must choose the tiger 01. Where is the tiger 01? You just find from here the tiger 01 skeleton is here. Remember, not this. Okay, this is the first round of the transfer. We just want to get the material, so we want the tiger 01 skeleton. This one. And after that, click import all. Wait. Now, already finished transfer, you can see. It will pop out a message log, you just need to close it. All of the, the animations, all of the tiger animations are here. You can see this is the tigers walking. The tigers run. So remember, for every time when you import when you import any of the animation, you when you drag in, you just need to drag in. Actually, this is a repeated import. You drag in, you always need to remember you need to select the animated time when you export it. Uh, sorry, when you import it, you have to select the animated time. So now, let's have a look. All of the animations are completed here, and the skeleton mesh also already completed. Next, we are going to make this tiger as the main avatar and also the NPC. In order to make him become an NPC, the Tiger's 01 skeleton, you must double click it and select rig here, you must change it to the humanoid rig. Then click save and close. Next, you back to the content folder here and you have to open the mannequin, go into the character folder, go into the mesh. Now, the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeletons, you have to change it to become the humanoid rig as well. If you cannot see the retarget manager here, you, you always can click here to turn on the retarget manager, select the humanoid, and then 
quick save and close. Always remember, this is compulsory. Next, you back to the content folder again, go into the mannequin, the animations, you should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. You right click it, retarget, duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. For here, you select the tiger 01 and then you click retarget. After you click retarget, it will immediately back to the content folder here. And then at here, you should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. You right click it, rename. And you add an underscore behind. You press F2, can rename it as well. You put an underscore behind. And then after that, you name it as Tiger01. Next, you should be able to see a third person either run. You double click it. And at this moment, the first point, you can just ignore for this tiger because it, this tiger don't have any of the eagle. The eagle, the either lie is no good. So you can just let it to stand like in this way. The next one is the second point. You drag the tiger zero one walk, drag and drop into the second point, and the last point you choose the tiger zero one runs. So you drag into here. Next, you can save it already. Now everything already okay. Now you can close it and finally you check your tiger your tiger's folder. You can see this. This is a nav navigation of the folder. Your tiger zero one, where is it? Where is your tiger zero one? It's under the content tiger zero one. You create another okay, you already have the animation folder, that is great. It is set here. So you back to your content folder. You click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one. All are selected, then you drag into... Wait. You drag into your Tiger01 animation folder. You drag it, drag in. We don't want all this file to, to, to occupy at, at the content folder. So we move it there. Done. Finally, we want to make this Tiger to become the main avatar. You have to go into the third person blueprint. Blueprint. You can see a third person character. By default, you can see an avatar is at here. This is the third person avatar. You have to delete it from the first map. Click and press delete button to delete it. And then you right click it and duplicate. You put an underscore behind. You put an underscore and you name it as Tiger01 and enter. Next, you double click. The third person character Tiger Zero One, and then you click the mesh, click the viewport. You should be able to see the mannequin avatar. You change the skeleton mesh to Tiger Zero One. Tiger Zero One. Next, you move the Tiger Zero One to the center so that it will be at the center. And then the animation class here, you choose the third person's animation blueprint, Tiger01. Then you click compile and close. Next, you go to edit project setting. And then go to the maps and modes. The selected game mode here, the default point class you choose as the third person character, Tiger01. This is very important. This is the main avatar of the game. Then it automatic will save. You need, just need to close it. And now I try to play the game. You should be able to see now my game avatar is a tiger now. And here you have two lions. These are the lions last time. For this lion, uh, for sorry, for this tiger, you don't have any of, of the jumping animations, but it, it's okay. You just let it to run, let it to walk. Right now, if you choose to make the graphic better, you because of just now I lower my graphic, I can go back to the setting. Here, the engine scalability setting, I make it become epic. 
then I try to play again you can see this is really a good graphic and you have two lions at, at here these are the NPCs of course you also can make some NPCs you should go back to your content folder it's under your tiger01 under the animation you can drag some of the animation out for example this is tiger01 Edo. you can drag it here and tiger it all of these are NPCs you can press press E to rotate it this way now you have two two NPCs at here when you try to play again you can see the NPC lions are here one lion is eating sorry this is a tiger <laughs> sometimes I also confuse you have all of these tigers and here this tiger is eagle and lion prone at here all of these are NPC tigers and you have two NPC lions of these animals I all, all use the icon to transfer and use the icon as the animation pipeline by using the icon 3D Exchange 7 so you can make all this game avatar it is really cool to make your game avatar as a tiger or any of the lions, any of the animals it is really awesome alright that's all for today about how to create a tiger main avatar or any of the tigers NPC in your Unreal Engine game project and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.